Today I'm Crafting with Volusia Library Gifts Crafty. Today we're going to be making coffee filter peonies. They're really fun, easy, fast, and they brighten up an entire room. So stick around, let's have some fun. Alright, let's get started. First we're going to do an alcohol-based marker. Um, I have about eight coffee filters here. All right. And I'm going to use some alcohol-based markers and then dip them in alcohol. Okay, so it's really easy. All you have to do is color. Very relaxing, very fun. Uh, so, and I'm gonna mix the colors. There are all kinds of different shades of, there's a melon, there's a, there's a deep burgundy almost, um, a deep pink, a medium, um, more of a, a peach is orange. So I'm gonna mix all these colors. I've learned this um, since I've done quite a few of these uh, in the past month um, for a very special uh, baby girl shower and it turned out awesome. So uh, here we go. You just color around the edge You don't have to be really particular. Um, fill in every spot because you're going to use a lot of other colors and you're going to color the top here and then you're going to flip it over and you're going to color the bottom side. Okay, I've never done this color combination before, so let's see how it turns out. All right, I have rubbing alcohol in here, and I'm using, this is 91%, but 70 to 75 or 74% would work well enough as it is. And um, alcohol spreads really fast, so you just need to dip it in here, The whole thing wet. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, wear gloves. I always forget that part. Then you take a cup you know what I'm gonna dip this other side. See how that side's blending really nicely? I'm gonna Dip this other side in there a little bit more. Okay, that's a little better. Okay, now I put a plate underneath it because it will drip. It is very wet. And if you're doing other ones with the same color, you can keep that in there. But um, if you're doing a different color, um, definitely get some fresh alcohol because it will color your next flower the same color. Now I'm going to do washable markers. And this we only have to dip in water. Okay, here I have a tub of water, and we're going to dip these 
in the water since they're washable, they're water soluble. And let them all soak up to the top. Okay, and the same thing. Oh, yeah, wring it out so it dries faster. Alcohol dries faster than water does. Water will pretty much take the, the, the full 24 hours. Alcohol um, dries a lot faster. So here you go. You have, you have this one we did um, with the alcohol-based markers. This one we did the water-based markers. And um, we'll see how they turn out. And they're dry. So let's see what happens next. Take them off the cups. See the nice blended colors? I love it. Okay. So now what you want to do is take the middle one and you're going to, you don't have to do this, but I like to do this. You're going to fold it in triangles. Okay. Then you're going to cut it in little strips at the top. Then you roll it. And you glue it. Actually, fold it. And you're going to cut the petals. You can make them rounded. You can make them more squared. Also cut the inside a little bit shorter. Okay, now you're gonna take it, you're gonna pinch the metal to form the metal. Okay. So if you want to put these on a, on a, a stem, then you're going to take a wire, okay, a floral wire, and take your um, needle nose pliers and you're going to roll the top. Um, a couple of times. It doesn't break through. Okay. Then what you the, the what you just pinched, you're gonna try to stick this through. Now, if you have trouble, just take your really sharp scissors and get that hole started. Okay. There we go. Come on through. Okay. All right. Now you want to glue that in. Okay. So 
so it doesn't break through the tissue, the coffee filters. Okay. All right. All right, now, what happened to my, there it is. Now you want to measure this. Okay, cut it off the length that you want, at the length that you want. Glue it. Stick it in there on top of the wire. Okay. Right now, you want to pull, pull these apart. Pull the layers apart. look. You can do it however you want to. You can take a pencil or something round. Curl the edges. All right. Okay, now if you want to finish. I'm going to stand it up. Okay. You can either just wrap the wire with floral tape. Okay. Or you can add this to the wire some type of dowel or straight round thing. And I think I'm gonna do that. So I'm going to put it right up there, right next to the, the um, nub of the flower there. Take my floral tape and get it started.
I had a lot of fun making these and I hope you did too. So have a great day and keep crafting, crafting, crafting.